What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Out West with Chris and I'm back to chat with you about Shooter's Loot. So recently I got a hold of a Shooter's Loot AR box. Now these are special one-off boxes that um, focus on gear and accessories for AR platforms. So for your 223s, your 556s, um, and some of those items you can also use on, um, you know, your AR 10s, but they focus more on gear for AR 15. So I was contacted by Daniel from Shooters Loot, and he's a really cool guy. Uh, chatted with him via message over Facebook for a while, and he uh, he said, hey, you know, I want to send you one of these if you could do a review on it, um, let people know what you think. I'd appreciate it. As part of that, he's also included. A coupon code for all of you guys. So if you use this uh, coupon code at checkout, you can actually get 10% off of one of your boxes. Okay, it could be the AR box that I have right here. It could be one of the other shooters loot boxes that you've seen me unbox before, like the Ultimate. You know, if you got the Ultimate, you'd save just about eight dollars off of uh, that box. That's pretty cool. And um, so yeah, something to check out. If you are thinking about signing up, be sure to use that coupon code. All right, so let's take a look at the AR box. Um, this is their box for March, their AR March box. And every month they... <laughs> we got a little one over here who's giggling about something. Anyways, every month they have um, you know different items that are gonna be in the box. Now this is standalone, it is... Uh, different than the regular shooter's loot box like the ultimate that you see me open. Um, this is just going to be um, components and gear for your AR-15. So before we get too far into this, I do need to point out that the shooter's loot AR box costs $119 plus you have a $5 flat rate shipping fee. Um, comes in a you know fairly small box and there were two items in this month. And there could be one item, there could be two, there could be three, depending on the cost of each of those individual items that are gonna come in future boxes. Like I said before, when I talked to the owner, he was really excited about this. Um, he says he's got a ton of cool stuff, um, good partnerships um, in the work. The total value on this box is $160, basically. $158.99 out of two items. So let's look, take a look at the lower cost item. And the two do relate to each other, so I'll explain how they relate in a little bit. First up is from KNS Precision. These are um, trigger group pens. They're stainless steel non-rotational um, trigger group pens. I did a little bit of research, and these are supposed to be some of the strongest pins that you can put in your uh, trigger group area. Um, non-rotational. They're going to cut down wear and tear on your lower um, that type of stuff. So. These are made for mil-spec guns. So if your stuff is mil-spec, it's gonna be of the right sizes and dimensions. It also comes with a couple of cool little items that help you in the installation process. So um, I can kind of get into that in a little bit. I will have links in the description to a video that actually does a really good job of showing how to change your pins out. Um, so I will make sure that that link is included. This right here is a $30 value. This will also work with your AR-10, so your 308 guns, um, they, they will work uh, with those if those are a mil spec. I'm pretty sure they'll work with mine. I'm kind of looking at mine and I'm not positive. Um, I have a, a six hour 308. I don't think that I'm gonna change the pins on this. Pretty cool little setup. $29.99 value. Next up is from Rise Armament. This is the RA140 SST. It's a super sporting trigger group, okay? It's a drop-in trigger group. So this is to replace your mil-spec triggers, so it's a little bit lighter. It's a three and a half pound pull. It is designed specifically for AR lowers that are mil-spec. So it's gonna, basically with mil-spec, mil-spec is, it doesn't mean always a certain level of quality it kind of does it and it doesn't mean that it's going to be the highest quality that you can get on the market mil spec just means that it's a standard that manufacturers can develop parts and and that type of stuff off of so there's a low 
range for um, you know the quality control that has to be met for it to be mil spec. Um, there's also dimensions. So that's the main thing with an AR platform. If somebody says mil spec, it's it's less about the quality and it's more it's it's about the quality, but it's less about that. It's more about your sizes and your dimensions for various parts and components of your rifles. So a mil spec trigger is gonna be certain dimensions. So this is gonna be basically plug and play. Um, switching out your your mil spec triggers it's gonna fit those is basically what it's saying so he's doing some research on rise armaments website and they actually suggest that you use these KS precision pins and they sell them on their website so it's kind of cool that shooters loot included these pins in the kit it would suck to have something that somebody says hey we want you to use you know this pin and then not get that pin i really want to get this Sig broken apart and uh, mess with this. But I actually am gonna be doing something totally different. Um, I will show you guys how to install, make some videos on this, on these two items. Uh, All right, everybody, so here is the trigger group um, out of the box. As you can see, here are your pinholes for the pins, the KNS pins. A little info on this trigger group. That's a, a nice rounded trigger. The trigger is a three and a half pull weight. They say it is a single stage trigger system with a clean break and a short reset. It is CNC machined from high grade heat treated tool steel and aluminum. It feels pretty sturdy um, to me, but it only weighs 2.6 ounces. As I mentioned before, it fits most of your 308 and 223 AR style platforms but it's not for use in the SIG MPX. So I don't know, I'm pretty sure it'll fit my SIG uh, R716, not, not positive though. Um, it's got a really nice self-contained design. Um, it shouldn't require any tuning. It does say those KNS pins are recommended, but not necessary. All right, so let's move on to the KNS precision pins. Um, it's a full kit basically. Here are your pins. So what you do with this is you take this little brass piece right here and you thread it onto your trigger pin right here. You'll go to your existing hammer pin and you'll start to press that out, okay? And then you'll take your hammer pin, use the hammer pin to press it the rest of the way through and then your hammer pin will be in place. Then you take the same setup, the threaded uh, trigger pin, and you'll take leave that uh, little piece on, the little brass piece, and you'll push the existing trigger pin through using that, and then once you get kind of flush, you'll unscrew that. Um, from there, you tighten everything down using the, the wrenches. Um, there is a maximum torque settings um, if you, know, you, you don't wanna go above, and minimum torque settings that you wanna be at too. Um, so keep that in mind, but these are a $30 value for use with um, the, the trigger setup that came in the box. One other quick thing I want to point out about these products, as you can see right here, if we can focus, this is made in Texas, and this product is also made in the USA. So that's awesome. I like that about both of these items made in the USA. So my thoughts on this are, it looks like pretty decent gear. I am not an AR-15 expert by any means. I'm not a gunsmith or anything like that. But this looks like pretty solid gear and um, it gets pretty good reviews online. And I'm sure that the folks over at Shooter's Loot wouldn't throw crap into their boxes. I, I trust the people over there. They seem like really good people. So like I said before, look out for future videos where I do um, utilize these in my own guns. I will be um, showing you how to put them in and, and you know do conversions and stuff like that. And then using them and reviewing them on those platforms. So keep that in mind. Um, should come out here in the next month or two with some of those videos. All in all, it was a $160 value box. You paid $119 plus shipping. Um, you got two pretty cool items. And I think that uh, it's something to look into. Like I said before, if you're interested in this box, make sure you use that uh, promo code. 
uh, OWWC10 to get 10% off. It also helps the channel. So um, if we can you know, utilize that enough, um, it's gonna show the folks over at Shooter's Loot that hey, yeah, it's worth um, sending a free uh, box to Chris so that he can do some videos and you know that type of thing. So keep that in mind if you're interested. Use it for the AR-10 box. Use it for the Ultimate Shooter's Loot Ultimate or any of the other boxes or items um, you know that they've got over at Shooter's Loot. I'll have links to their website in the description down below. Thank you guys as always for watching the video. I greatly appreciate it. If you like it, please click that thumbs up button. If you haven't seen many of my other videos, you should take a look around. Ugh. If you like those, please subscribe. If you have anything you want to add to the conversation, do so in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you for getting out west with Chris.